you know, a lot of people who try to teach Galatian error, right, a reminder of what Galatian error is, uh, Galatian error is uh, when you as a saved person try to go back to the law as a way to have, for you to find favor with God, okay? And you think that the flesh perfects the spirit. And, you know, Paul warns the Galatians not to fall for that. He even said, oh, you foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you, right? Um, and unfortunately, a lot of people have been bewitched by the same lie that the Galatians were told. Now, a lot of people who teach Galatian error, right, who promote it, who, who want people to go back to the law, uh, as a way to find favor with God, um, you know, they, they try to separate the law into two to three parts, right? They'll say, oh, there's the moral law, there's the, the ceremonial law, and then sometimes they'll say there's the civil law. Um, and they'll say, well, we'll you know, oh, well, not, we're not obligated to keep, you know, ceremonial stuff and the civil stuff but of course we're supposed to do the moral stuff right and uh look god doesn't separate it like that okay if you if you fail to keep all of the law uh you're cursed okay so why do you why do you as a believer want to basically beg god to curse you right even though jesus christ died to free you from the curse of the law now Look here in 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Right, it talks about how uh, Christ made us ministers of the New Testament. This is in verse 6. Not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. But if the ministration of death... Wait, wait a minute. There's a ministration of death? Yeah, there is. Let's see what it is. Written and engraved... Wait, what's, what's this ministration of death? It's written and engraved. And, and engraven. In stones was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory. This count is which uh, glory was to be done away. Okay. Now, this ministration of death, it's talking about the Ten Commandments that, that God gave Moses. Okay. Ministration of death. Okay, and though God wasn't separate, like, you know, when God gave the whole law, eventually, he, he you know, he, he didn't separate and say, well, this is just the moral, and yeah, you might have to keep that, or, you know, but you can break this, no, like, he, everything was the law that he gave, right? But people try to separate into two or three parts. So let me ask those people that are trying to separate into two to three parts. I mean, is, you know, the law that was engraven in stones and was given to Moses, right? You know, would you say that civil, ceremonial, or moral? It sounds what you, like what you would classify to be the moral law, right? The Bible says this is administration of death. And that's what you want to go back to, ministration of death? What in the world? And, it, and it's contrasted with, uh, you know, here in verse 8. How shall not the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? For if the ministration of condemnation be glory, much more doth the ministration of righteousness succeed in the glory. Okay, so not only is, you know, what's, what's so, so there was the Ten Commandments of administration of death. There was also administration of condemnation because nobody kept the Ten Commandments even. Right? Everybody broke it. Okay. So you can't say you need, you know, that, that you need to find favor by keeping the law. When you don't even keep the law, you've already broken the law. The fact that you broke the law got Jesus crucified, uh, you know, in... in you can't use it as your defense. Even now, you can't go back to it when, you know, if you want to be judged by the law, all it can do is condemn you. Okay. And uh, try to go back to the law, you're basically shrinking back from Jesus Christ and his glorious gospel. 
Okay. And look, the Bible makes it clear in Romans that Jesus Christ justifies us from all things. Okay, and in Galatians it says, the, you know, the, let me go to Galatians. And I'll end it here. Verse 24 of verse 3, of chapter 3, excuse me. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith has come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. For ye are all children, all the children of God, by faith in Christ Jesus. So quit trying to act like a bastard, you know, thinking you don't know who your father is. And you're trying to, you know, go to the law and be justified by law keeping when you've not kept the, kept the law and you, you won't, okay? So remember, you're complete in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is your justification, your savior, your sanctification, your holiness, your life, okay? Your resurrection, your everything. 